Welcome back to ESPN First Take, presented by DirecTV. What started as a fun, quick question from ESPN's Tim Kirkshin has turned into an obsession for us here at ESPN First Take. Timmy asked, jokingly, if an NFL kick returner stood on the goal line with nothing but a hungry bear on the 50-yard line, could man beat bear to the other end zone, or would bear eat man? And we've had a lot of fun with that question over the last couple of months. We've asked everyone from LaDainian Tomlinson to Ashton Kutcher, and almost everyone has sided with the kick returner. Let's debate this topic once and for all. And to do it, we'll bring in a couple of exper experts. We bring in the world's most renowned bear expert, Dr. Lynn Rogers. He's a PhD and has been studying bears for over 40 years. And he's currently doing research at the North American Bear Center in Eli, Minnesota. He joins us now with his bear, Ted E. Bear, and also to debate from an expert angle, the kick returner, Antoine Randall L. Of course, one of the game's top kick returners. Antoine, good to see you again. We'll start with you. Would the bear get you or would you get to the end zone? Uh, I'm getting to the end zone safe. <laughs> and there's no you, doubt I, in your mind you're going to outrun the bear. There's no doubt in my mind I'm going to outrun the bear, outweave the bear. I'm not going to run in a straight line. I mean, this bear, I, I would imagine he can go maybe 30, maybe 40 miles an hour. He's probably somewhere between 7 and 1, 700 and 1,000 pounds. I'm not getting caught by this bear. We're, we're talking about for life now. And I just talking about going and running trying to score a touchdown. We're talking about for life. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. This is more important than any touchdown you might score. Doctor, uh, exactly. is Antoine right? Is he wrong? Somewhere in, the, in, in between. I, I have great respect for this man, but he's wrong. <laughs> Tell us why he's wrong, Doctor. <laughs> well, uh, the fastest human ever clocked ran 27 miles an hour. Uh, a black bear can run 30 miles an hour. A grizzly bear can run 35 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And these are mostly when they're escaping something, uh, not dodging in something, because uh, uh, they're not big predators. Um, they, they don't have the body form for a lot of dodging, uh, just like he said. Uh, but still, on four legs, they can do better than a person on two legs. Okay, so by nature, the bear would probably just stand there and watch Antoine go. He, he, he naturally would, wouldn't have enough curiosity to go after him. But let's, for the sake of this discussion, say the bear hasn't eaten in three months and Antoine isn't holding a football. He's holding a, a freshly cooked glazed ham. That what happens then? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> the, just for the sake of, of fun here, um, let's say the bear does try to catch him and um, dodge and get around the bear. Let's say that he does that. But then he's got the dash to the, to the whole uh, goal line uh, with the bear able to outmaneuver him. I believe at that point, like a bear with four legs, can dodge better than a person with two legs. Antoine, what, what kind, you said that your strategy would be to just run around. Uh, aside from not running in a straight line, how would right. you go about this? Well, I, I think you, I, I would, I mean, this might say, sound a little insane, but at some point you got to attack the bear. If you know he's coming at you, so you got to go at him. Some at, at some point you got to kind of you know go at him as if you're going to you're going to get him and then dodge him. You don't just start dodging right away because then you you're going to get tired for one. All right, but so you you're running at him then. Exactly, you're running at him just like you would do it if you're running at a linebacker or anybody else, and then you got to make that that bear stop or just give you that, that one step that you need to get, get by him. Now, I know the bear runs 30 to 40 miles an hour. I know the fastest person to run in the world has only run, I think he said, 25, 27 miles per hour. But Dr. Rogers, that fastest person in the world that ran 27 miles per hour, again, was not running for his life. <laughs> and I'm running from this bear. Not, not, after, once I get past the bear, I'm running a straight line. But the minute I feel like that bear is anywhere close to me, I, I'm starting to zigzag. And once I get, once I get to the, my safe zone, that's it. The bear has no more chance. So it's just, it, it, it may just take that's just right. that. And you got to remember, you got to remember, I've been doing this for quite a while too now. I know he's been chasing down and eating and that kind of thing, but I've been running around like <laughs> I've been doing for quite some time now too. Doctor, let me ask you cool. a question. Uh, you, you said that uh, actually, Antoine, uh, Antoine said he would run at the bear. H how would the bear respond if, if Antoine is sprinting full speed at him? Any fear in this bear at all? 
Well, if he's coming towards the bear, and let's say the bear is coming towards him, I would not be surprised if Antoine could dodge him that first time. That's all you need is one dodge. <laughs> It's a wrap after that. Uh, Antoine believes that if it's for his life, he's going to get by him. So, doctor, I'll ask you. Okay. If you had to bet your life, Antoine's at the goal line, the Bears at the 50, who are you betting on? Um, if, if the Bear is really trying, I bet on the Bear. <laughs> In reality, I can't imagine this ever happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> Antoine's glad that it can never happen. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, because because um, I've studied bears for 40 years. I've never had a bear come after me and hurt me. I know that there is a widespread misconception out there that if you run from a bear, it'll trigger a predatory response. I have never heard of that ever happening in reality. All right, wonderful. Dr. Lynn Rogers, Antoine Randall L. Gentlemen, thanks for having fun with a topic that we've enjoyed now for several months. I think we've put it to rest. Antoine, I don't know. I, I used to believe that you could get by, but after hearing the expert, I'm a little more skeptical today. Running for my life now. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. To learn more about real bears in their natural environments, you can log on to www.bears.org. Jay, you know we never put anything to rest here. As Jay mentioned to start, ESPN.com's Tim Kirkchen was the one that got all of this started in the first place. So if we really are going to try to end it, we have to go to him. Tim is joining us right now. Tim, uh, you said you wanted to hear from an expert. We got you an expert. What do you have to say? Well, I still totally agree with Rand and Antoine Randall L. on this. A, he's running for his life, and B, there's no way around this. A 180-pound man is quicker than an 800-pound bear. The bear is faster. I'm not disputing that. What I'm saying is a great kick returner in this case is going to juke the bear at the 30-yard line or so. There's no way he's not going to be able to shake a bear for a short period of time. Then it's going to take an 800-pound bear a really long time to turn around and get back up to full speed, 35 miles an hour. By that time, the really fast human being is going to be well on his way to the goal line. I can't believe we are actually talking about this. This is officially the end of my career as a journalist, no. but I am absolutely certain no. that a really fast man who is more important really quick can shake something that weighs 800 pounds. But Tim, Tim, and you and I, we've seen each other on campus here, and you actually tried to do a demonstration for me that I won't get into, but this guy <laughs> just said, the expert just said that the bear can actually dodge better than humans can. So when you talk about juking them out, the bear might actually not get juked out. It sounds like the bear can dodge. Okay, with all due respect to the expert, and I have nothing against bears or nothing against experts, there's just no way that anything that weighs 800 pounds is as nimble or as quick as, as a professional 30 miles per hour! Who, 30 miles who, per hour! And Antoine Randall L can run 24 miles an hour. Mathematically, it's impossible for him to catch up in that short a time. He's only got to run 70 yards in the end at full speed. And let's not, we've all seen football players. We absolutely are dazzled by how fast they are and how quickly they change direction without losing speed. Now the bear has only 70 yards to catch him, <laughs> and he's going in the wrong direction. Now he's got to turn uh, around. Hey, Tim, can you you see, you can't see a TV right now, can you? You haven't been able you, you, because right now they've got your headshot, and then yeah. there's a bear next to it, and it says "man versus bear." I think this is your finest moment as a journalist right now, to be quite well, honest. I think it's my worst moment as a journalist. But again, with all due respect to the bear guy, okay, I just don't think he understands exactly how quick a man can be. Plus, we are in the man's environment here. We're on a football field. The bear is not running through the woods after Devin Hester or any great kick returner. He's running on a football field. The bear's never been on a football field. And you're right. Who's to say? I'm saying the bear is really angry and that he <laughs> right, he's right. really wants to catch Hungry. this guy. But maybe he'll give up. It's like the guy said, I've never seen a bear chase a man before. And, and 
And Randall L. is exactly right. He's running for his life. He has far more incentive in this ridiculous question than the bear does. This, we're never, we're so never putting this to rest. Tim, we appreciate you joining us. I'm being told we have to go, but this is not being put to rest. We will continue to talk about this forever. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Thank you, Dana. See you. ESPN, the